Hello everybody and welcome to the Farming Simulator 17 Collector's Edition Unboxing. So I bought this from Game, it was pre-ordered for £40. I went with the pre-order just because I didn't really know what the stock would be like. It could be limited, uh, so I thought I'd get in there early. It's actually in cellophane to protect it, but I will open it in a second to show you the finish of the box. But let's just start underneath it first of all. It shows you the spec there, everything which is required. And it also lets you know that you need the internet for multiplayer and also for the activation of the game. And then we've got the Giants, Focus and Agco and NVIDIA logos just there as well with their website. So this includes the game, the Art of Modding booklet, a lanyard for round your neck, exclusive Insight Farming Simulator 17 and Modding Video Tutorials 3.0, Massey Ferguson Miniature Tractor with Front Loader, 10 stickers of various brands, an A2 poster and 5 concept art cards. And this will just basically very quickly explain to you what Farming Simulator is all about. Here is a picture of the contents, hopefully you can see it okay without too much of a reflection. You can see the tractor just there, just there, the concept art is here. And then we've got the downloadable content on the right hand side. We've got the videos just here, the lanyard, the art of modding booklet, the A2 poster and the game itself. Oh and also we mustn't forget the very important stickers. Right, so let's break into this thing, I'm never really too good with the old cellophane. Or oh, very new cellophane it would be actually. Oh, go and get some scissors on over right. Right, so let's just break into this. Hmm, there's a good smell coming off it. Right, okay, so um Yes, this is where I've got to be very, very careful not to damage it. That one there. I probably could have done this before the video, but I just wanted to show you exactly what it looked like. So there it is, it's actually within here, and it's in a box, it seems. So we go, it says Farming Simulator 17 on the box, nicely branded. And here we have everything, like a little package in here. First of all, we've got the, ah, it's Siku. The Siku Massey Ferguson model. And uh, what scale is this? I'm not sure exactly, it usually says on the box, but it's got a front loader at least. Metal and plastic parts. I don't know how well you can see it, but it looks pretty decent. Siku stuff is good, so that is good that they've used a reputable, reputable brand and not just some cheap and nasty thing. You clearly get what you can pay for here. Right, so we'll put that to one side, just here. We then have the lanyard with farming simulator on it. Make it look like you work for giants wearing this. So that goes around your neck. Nicely branded. A variety of different stickers, which we're going to have to try and pick up in one go. Alright, there we go. So we've got Lally just here, Innovators in Agriculture, Trelleborg, Wheels, Valtra, Your Working Machine, Massey Ferguson, For a New Generation, indeed it is, Massey Ferguson, Fent, Horsch, Still, some people call it Steel, Apparently, it is actually pronounced steel, but yeah, I've always called it steel. So there it is. Rostle Mash. Professional Agrotechnics. There's the harvester. Joskin. They've got the big brands here. This is brilliant. Challenger. MT800E. Serious machinery. Serious results. Yeah, they do definitely produce some big and expensive, but also very good machinery. So that, there are the stickers. We're blasting through these very fast. It's very exciting. I don't really want to break the seal which is holding these in. There we go. Right. So we have the concept art. Now, Farming Simulator 17 is now featuring the female character. And I'm actually surprised that it, it took so long to get a female character in uh, Farming Simulator. But there you go, it's in now. Concept out of that. That looks amazing. That is Goldcrest Valley. We've got the uh, lake just there with the trees. A little bridge crossing, a little boat. It's raining, of course, with blue sky. We then have, oh, look at this, Lumberjack. Now, in case you're wondering, actually, if you've got it on Steam, there are Steam achievements, and they're always very interesting to get. There's a basketball, play basketball. Yeah, definitely worth checking that out. There's also trading cards as well, I think, which these might even be the pictures from, not sure. Looks very similar to the Lumberjack trading card. But there it is. It's got his chainsaws down there. His helmet, ear protection. 
and the trees in the background, very, very nice. We then have the train yard just here. You'll probably recognise all of these places out of Farming Simulator if you've played it already or watched my videos. Oh, and on the back as well, it says Farming Simulator 17 on every single one. Um, that looks like a hydroelectric plant. Can't say I've been there, but yes, that's what it looks like. We then have the Farming Simulator Extra Content, which I can't show you because you'll steal my code. But this is the uh, Challenger MT700E Stealth Edition. The tractor is free. And if I turn it over without showing you the code once again, then we also have the Fent 939 Black Beauty Edition. So you can download those. Right, there we go. I don't have to cover it over anymore. Next we've got the CD, Exclusive Insight Farming Simulator 17 and Modding Video Tutorials, just here. That's, um, not touching it too much. I'm going to put greasy fingers on it. All right. Okay, there we go. So there it is, there's the disc. Nicely produced. I'll have to watch those later. And uh, yeah, the most important part, of course, just here. We have the game itself, Farming Simulator 17. It's nice to have a physical copy. Now, are there any codes? Oh no, not yet. I can show you this then. So uh, we've got the A2 poster, which we'll open up in a second. We then have um, an advert for Farming Simulator 16 for your mobile. A um, few things here. Giants Developer Network. What about the... Uh, Oh, this is some shortcuts on the back of it. That's very handy if you're a developer, maybe producing new maps and stuff. The manual, and this, although it seems quite simple, is something which seems to be very hard for most game developers these days. They don't seem to produce a manual, which is very cheap in my opinion. I'm not very happy about that, but at least Giants have gone for it. So you've got everything here, tells you everything. It's all in colour as well. Some of the developers that do do a manual do it in black and white. Yes. No expense spared. Anyway, that's all good. The Art of Modding is just here. This is a book. And actually, I won't take that out because there is a product key just underneath it. But yes, just an introduction to it all here. All about modding. So, yes, let me just hide that away. There's the disc. And that is uh, our game of farming. That's our copy of Farming Simulator 17. There's everything on the back, again telling you about the game, some screenshots and stuff, the spec. And unfortunately, that is the end of the box, how disappointing. Um, oh, no, still got the A2 poster, we mustn't miss this. Let me just open it up, might take me a while. Alright, we're unfolding it. Oh, it's all stuck together. Oh, and also, I just saw something which is very important. The map. Alright, let me just um, pull away here, there we go. So there's our massive A2 poster of Farming Simulator. And if we flip it over, oh, one-handed is not good. There we go, the map of Goldcrest Valley. We had something very similar for Bjornholm, but this is just gonna be so handy for playing the game. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the collector's edition. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and maybe even giving you an idea of whether you want to get just the game on its own or the collector's edition. Um, I'm not going to recommend either way, just because the price is obviously different. But yeah, I'm very happy with this, I'm very pleased that I bought it, and it's probably going to be going on my shelf, tucked away for safety. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hope to see you again in the next video. Bye for now.